I'm going to use only Madness AI to create a full stack app for you. If you're not hit with what Madness AI is, Madness AI is a revolutionary AI agent built by a Chinese company that can do any task you can possibly imagine. We're talking about research, coding, doing your homework, to fixing a broken heart. Okay, maybe not the broken heart. Now to use Madness, you have to go through an application process, get approved, and not everyone gets approved. In fact, it's so hard to get a hold of Madness that invite codes for are selling for a fortune online. But guess what? Your boy got approved. I have access to Madness AI. So in this video, we're going to put it to the test and see how powerful it really is. I'm going to ask it to build a full stack app for us that we're going to try to sell and possibly make millions off of. All right, so here's the interface of Mass AI. It's very clean. You can see a lot of different use cases that it has. You got research, life, data analysis, education, productivity, and that's not YouTube friendly. Okay, we have Mass AI, but what are we exactly going to create? Um, the good thing about this is we no longer have to think about ideas. We're just going to ask Manis, what is a trendy? But effective. Let's try this again, I guess. Yeah, you better think. You know who's daddy. Look at that. Ah, uh, cool. Okay, so I'm asking you for some simple ideas and it's looking like it's doing a lot of research. It's running commands in its own terminal. Okay, good, to do some search. See what it gives us, see what it cooks. Ah, don't judge. We're just going to ask ChatGPT. A good example of that mass is cool, but it's kind of slow, kind of slow. So I think mass is better for like deep research and, you know, complicated tasks, like actually building a full stack app for the idea generation. We will stick to Sam. So these are some pretty cool ideas, right? I, I do want to wait for Manus and see what ideas it comes up with and compare, but I'm already liking the idea of AI powered meeting notes, focus timer. We don't have to do that. Invoice generator. This is also pretty cool. I think this can help a lot for if you have a small business or you're just accepting payment from a client. Yeah, these are some very solid ideas. Wow. All right, it's finally here. We have Manus's ideas. So ChatGPT gave us some pretty solid ideas, but I can already think of three of these that I want to go with, but let's see what Manus cooked up. It took 10,000 years anyway, so let's give it a chance. Okay, so it looks like when Manus gives us app ideas, they're pretty, they're pretty thorough. You have description, key features, technologies, everything. The AI power personal finance tracker, I'm solid. Subscription management platform. This is also something that ChatGPT mentioned, right? Um, Subscription tracker. Again, front end, back end, database authentication, pretty solid. Freelancer project management tool. Eh, kind of boring to be honest. Local experience marketplace. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Booking and scheduling systems, campaign processing. This is, yeah, this is this is a big app right here. Um, this is the technologies. Health and wellness habit tracker. Again, similar to what ChatGPT gave us, smart home dashboard. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool idea as well. Micro learning. Uh, it's like you to me. Marketplace, remote uh, communication tools. AR. AR enhanced shopping assistant. It has in store shopping experiences. Yeah, so these are some cool ideas for sure. I think when it comes to the idea generation, ChatGPT is better just because of the fact that it's way faster and the ideas are kind of the same. With all these ideas we have, which one are we going with? So there's TikToks are going mega viral about the Kaizen Journal, which is a journal that you can log your physical, mental, and spiritual goals per day, right? One of each. And there's also an anime that I really love called Solo Leveling, where you're leveling up as a person. So we're going to combine this solo leveling as well as this idea of, you know, just tracking your, your win th throughout the day. And we're going to put it together and we're going to go with the daily goal tracker that chat GPT gave us. So now that we have our idea, we're going to tell Mass exactly what we want it to create, some of the guidelines that it should follow, and we're going to see what the end result is. So let's X this out. Um, thank you for the ideas. Here is what I want you to build. I want you to build a Every day the user should can 
put in a new every day the goals should be put in a new okay so we have the overall goal setting idea in mind now we want to make this app fun right we're not gonna just make it a boring daily goal tracker so let's add let's add some sort of like gamification into it let's talk about points if every time this you hits all of their daily goals they level up so they're like so leveling they level up and their level should be tracked and visible the level is persisted what this means is that every time a user logs in it's not just going to reset their level And does not reset. Okay. Um, to level up, let's see what happens when you get. Um, hmm. Level 10, you should be able. No, I, think, I don't know. We'll, we'll give this the we'll give this the prize. I mean, In order to check it off, you know, because then we don't want users just to say, "Yeah, I I prayed today when they didn't actually pray." So take a picture of your holy book. Do what you got to do. Now for the UI, use shad CDN components. Make it clean like um, stripes UI. Let's also find some pictures. Um, daily goal tracker UI. Users should also be able to input their information in a profile section. Um, hello. user's name a motivational quote okay so um cool shad cdn is a very popular um component library so see right here it's very clean very you know nice looking so i definitely want um, our app to use this component library um, and Stripes UI, if you guys are familiar with Stripes, it's super clean, very pretty to look at. Um, make this dark theme. Um, hmm. Actually, let's not. You can decide if you want this light or dark theme based on the colors. Okay, so yeah. All right, let's do this. Boom. Please don't yell at me. Please say yes. I will do this. I don't like how long it's taking. Okay. All right. It sounds very positive. I'm excited as you are. So we ran into a little bit of an issue. Um, it stopped working. What on earth? Okay, so said math has stopped because context is too long. Please start a new chat. Can you continue development? Keep it simple. God damn! So it has a login page made. Okay, it has the it has a lot of things made already. API usage, register application, components, it has a dashboard. Give choir war, go history card. Okay, so it looks like maybe it, 
we gave it a little too much for the first go. So we got to keep it a little simpler. Right? We did it. We officially got Manus to create the web app. All we had to do was change the prompt to this. Right, this was concise enough, not too long, so Manus could understand it, develop it, because there is a time limit of some sort where if there's too much information you're giving Manus, it's not built well enough to actually do everything you're asking, right? I guess it's still in like a beta stage, so there's some limitations. But with this prompt, it was able to build the entire web app. So now we're gonna see how good it is. Boom! We we have our app live. Okay, first impressions is pretty cool. It's matching the solo leveling theme. Uh, we got we got the levels right here. We got the motivational quote from solo leveling. I arise and I alone level up. Um, track it daily goals and level up. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's enter a spiritual goal. Let's say pray at night. Physical goal. Uh, hit chest day at the gym. And then mental goal. Let's say I don't know. Solve today's wordle. Is that, is that a mental goal? I think so. Set goals. Okay, now we can check each goal off. So let's say pray at night, checked. I have not hit chest day yet. And I have solved today's wordle. So, oh, it looks like I see an error. Ah, uh, so right now I can't check off each of them. So for some reason it's not letting me check each goal. So that's one error that the app has. So we can ask manage to fix that let's check the profile age let's say i'm 24 location um say new york bio i am a content creator and tech preneur interest ai content creation building businesses mentoring since i mentor others how to develop their own agents profile profile say successfully go to goals go to profiles again oh everything is saved cool Hunter, so I got points since I completed the pray at night goal. Hit chest agent, so I can't, I can't solve these two. So aside from the error of not being able to check those two check boxes, everything else worked perfectly and smoothly. Now we can tell Mass to do more and more things and make it, you know, even better, add more features. But the point is, we were able to develop a full stack web app literally within 20 minutes, and we can have Mass do more and more work, and this is only going to get better. Before we'd have to pay a developer thousands more dollars to add more features, or wait another month for features to be added, or just spend more time and resources and everything being complete and now we no longer have to do that. Now, if you want to learn how to build your own AI or web agents using Manus AI or other AI tools or actual programming languages, be sure to check the first link in the description below.